<clears throat> hey, um, I wanted to say since since uh, somebody's making me go um, uh, and tell everybody what's so secret secretive about what it is that I'm doing with my private life and my private ambitions and it's so very important for them to know what I'm doing I I, I wanted to uh, say something about this I was just watching a video and it was talking about Canada and Canada is supposedly having a very big problem with their fish and fisheries. Um, their fisheries are, uh, it says here, Canada is failing fisheries, fewer than one-third considered healthy. Their fisheries are not healthy, they're saying, in other words. But I wanted, the reason why I wanted to say something about that was because I had a dream a long time ago, I had a dream that I was going to live in Florida on the rivers. On the river, there's the St. John's River, and then there's another river that goes around uh, Ocala National Forest. And I was going to live on the river, and I was going to build myself a boat that was would have, on the boat would be a fish, a fish hatchery, and I would supposedly, I'm sure I could get a grant or something for this, but I wanted to build a boat where I could breed fish, and then when I was done breeding the fish, I'd have a little hatch on the bottom of the boat, and it, you know, they build those in great big, like, swimming pools, round swimming pools. And I'd pull a little latch there and all the fish and all the water would go right down into the river or the lake. And I wanted to petition the state to connect all the lakes with the rivers by canal. And I dreamed of the idea of hundreds of thousands of people who would escape the city uh, rent problem and live on the river for free in a boat that would pay them to uh, breed fish and uh, the bigger the boat you had the more money you could make and the happier you would be because supposedly people that have large acreages of uh, land uh, don't spend most of their time mowing the grass. <laughs> but see, if you lived on a boat, you wouldn't have any grass to mow. You'd have time to breed fish. But uh, that was my idea, and I wanted to say something about that because if you get enough people in Canada... Uh, from these other countries where they're trying to escape maybe maybe you could get them from there they're running away from Syria they're running away from all these other countries so, so maybe they could stay on a boat if you can get them to stay on a boat but um, they could replenish your fish problem and instead of having the fisheries where the fish from the fisheries go right to the supermarkets they would go right into the lakes and right into the rivers and uh, be along the coast there and you could protect the uh, endangered fish because I know I lived in Florida for 40 years, 44 years, I don't know, whatever. But um, Florida is fished out. It, all those gators down there, um, they're attacking people and dogs and cats and deer. And 
They don't have anything to eat. There's no fish in there. There's no fish anywhere you go. Now there might be, there might be some uh, what do you call those mud sucking fish, uh, the uh, plankton eating fish. Those those things are in there because they're so ugly. Nobody wants those. Um, but um, there's no fish in any lake in Florida that I've ever been to. Maybe one or two, maybe in the forest. But um, other than that, they're all fished out because that's, you know, that's the sport down there is everybody, uh, they don't want people to have boats. They won't tell you that. But uh, those gators can jump, you know. They can jump out of the water. And uh, I thought maybe if you could... Uh, replenish the fish you could cut down on the attacks the gator attacks in Florida uh, and I, I even thought maybe you know Louisiana might like that too but um, that was my idea and I think a floating fish hatchery uh, would be you know a lot more profitable Possibly for the state as far as replenishing fish than a stationary one like is in Florida. I only I only ever saw one of those in Florida and it was in near Palatka, south of Palatka on 17, Route 17. And uh, it's it was being run by the forest forestry service or the department of interior or whoever runs that department of fisheries or something like that fish and wildlife commission but it shut down and they don't run it anymore and it's just sitting there <clears throat> but if you had boats and somebody got sick and tired of running a boat they could just sell it have it issue, you know, like uh, maybe it's in your Navy. Issue it to somebody else. So, there's your idea. I hope you can handle it. And uh, I think the UN might even be interested in that because I'm sure that's a problem all over the world. And uh, I think it's a really good idea. So, uh, there's your video.